Disclaimer, I just want to say this is a game and this is not to be taken seriously. So YouTube, stop. Thank you for understanding that this is just for entertaining purposes. Please don't ban me. Ah, the Baltic Germans. The descendants of the old Germanic crusaders that settled in the Baltic regions. Where in the universe of Kaiserreich, they actually got their a country of their own. But the Russian bear to the east lies waiting to reclaim its territories. So let's show them how three tank divisions and a small professional army can defeat the entire Russian army. So, the United Baltic Duchy is a small state that is comprised of Estonia and Latvia, where the main bulk of the government is under the Baltic Germans. But as you can imagine, things are not great, with the Baltic Germans emigrating to Germany proper and having an old and antiquated political system, it doesn't help the situation. But what it does have going for is its armed forces, which gives some nice bonuses that I can either get way better or reduced a bit, but you get your manpower back as you suffer a big debuff in terms of manpower. Because we know the Russian threat can only be defeated with quality and not quantity, it's time we focus on the professionalism side. But oh boy, it's that time of the year where the economy goes kaput and heads out to take a ride and crash into the sea. As you could imagine that immigration to Germany proper has only propelled making things even worse. And you remember that weird political system? Well, thanks to it and how it works, we now have a dualism in place, where no one can actually get shit done. So, since we can't really do anything about the political system, let's just continue to buff, buff up our military. And also, I'm sure it's fine, it's not like we're dealing with rebels or anything. Oh, I might have spoken a little bit too soon. So yeah, the Latvians and Estonians have taken the opportunity to rise up and now threaten the very existence of the Baltic Duchy. With this happening, a proposal for a coalition where the government focuses on defeating the insurrection has been proposed, but the two sides just simply could not cooperate with each other. With the situation spiraling out of control, a group of militia units from Germany have offered to join and help calm down the rebellion. And with no other option, we might as well accept their help. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hmm, you know, maybe I should shut up before saying anything. And now, even the Polish minority are helping the Latvians. Can't we catch a break? Well, it appears that some high-ranking officers in the Baltic Duchy are not exactly happy with the current situation. The Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces has formed a secret path with the Bal Baltic Brotherhood to rid the Duchy of the incompetent leadership, and soon after the plan has been carried out by Mein Teufel by declaring that there was going to be a dangerous uprising in the city of Riga, all of the incompetent politicians were rounded up in the Landtag and they were forced to surrender. The coup slash takeover was complete. With the takeover complete, it's finally time to dissolve the Landstag and rid ourselves of the old and antiquated political system and bring a more responsible government. During the coup, the Duke banished, as such, with him gone, von der Goltz, will serve as the permanent regent. But we must not forget that the Forest Brothers are still out there, so it's time to bring in the big guns to pacify and secure the country. Now, with some decisions available to us, we just need to regain control of the dodgy before it's too late. And after a while of pacifying the revolt, the uprising was swiftly defeated by the armed forces. As such, the duchy is finally safe. With the recent turn of events, unexpected turn of events I might add, the duke was found by the leader of the Baltic Brotherhood. The duchy was now in hands of the ideals of the Brotherhood, with von der Goltz being more than just a puppet leader, who will serve as a uni unifying figure for the transformation of the state. And now it's time to transform the duchy into our ideals for a better Baltic German state.
but the Russian bear does not rest as they soon plan to march west and we will be ready to send them back to hell. The first step of course to devote ourselves to the army. With it, we will launch our great eastern crusade just like our forefathers did. But we can't reform the Baltic Germans into the perfect Christians if the distinct branches continue to be separated. As such, we will unify all of the church branches for the renewal of the state. And now we can finally deal with that pesky emigration problem with a simple trick. Just make everyone be registered and pre prevent them from leaving the country by any means necessary since we need everyone for a great crusade eastwards. The economy, another problem that we are facing, will be solved by providing full employment for every single person of working age. Of course, we can't have a fully working society and be it an organ of the state if vices which corrupt the soul of the Baltic German are still legal, as such their prohibition will be immediate and swift. Just as we ban the vices, we shall ban the extravagant lifestyles, as that not only promotes the oppressive and mammonic capitalist system, that also keeps the Baltic German from realizing his contribution to the state. We can't forget that the military is still the top priority, as such all Baltic Germans will join the Landswehr and have military training for the inevitable conflict. Since the mammonic capitalist system cannot continue, cannot continue to exist, the government shall regulate and control the economy to industrialize the land. And finally, and long last, the Anglo-Saxonic soul theft has ended. The Baltic Germans can rest assured that no longer will they be exploited by nefarious means, and as such, the transformation of the state is at an end. But our work is still not yet done, as such the military will be focused entirely on becoming the most advanced and professional, well-trained army this continent has ever seen. And as expected, the conflict the great conflict actually has broken out between the high mat and the syndicalists. And while it's our duty to help the fatherland, our war, our main front lies in the east, as the Russian bear roars its head out and we will put it down. Our great crusade, our mission starts now. We shall conquer the east and defeat the Russian demon by sending it back to hell, with us coming out victorious with our Germanic brothers. As you can imagine, fighting a war with Russia is not exactly an easy task per se, but what the Russians have in quantity, they lack in quality. As such, one of the main targets was to capture Petrograd that lies just outside of our gates. But capturing the cities will not be enough, as such the only way to win this conflict is to wage a war of attrition, slowly making the Russian bear bleed until it's out of blood to spill. Slowly encircling the Russian troops, left wide open and killing them, thinning down their numbers until they have no more men available to fight with. Slowly we made pushes, killing Russian troops too deep in the enemy hotline, left alone to die while we recaptured major cities for allies like Minsk.
As the northern front seemingly started to collapse for the Russians, our secret weapon was ready. Thanks to the cooperation of the Eastern German client states, one medium tank division was deployed that would serve to make the Russians bleed even faster. Combined that with our bonuses thanks to our professionalism, this would make Russia's demise even quicker. With the north and center fronts fully destroyed, it was time we deploy ourselves to the south and start reclaiming land for our Ukrainian allies. But all of this comes at cost, as the sacrifices of the brave Ger Baltic German man was piling up as such more draconian conscription laws were implemented. With our victories and accomplishments, we show the world that we are the eastern vanguard of the Germanic order. We shall defend the Heimat and teach anyone a lesson who thinks they can double us. Actually, that focus also allows you to send one of your generals to any of the Eastern Germanic client states where you can get a specific type of bonus from them as well as the specific country the generals are arrived to. They will also get a bonus. Combined with all of this and the other bonuses you can get as the Baltic Duchy, yeah, you can have a monster of a nation. With Russia barely holding on, it's time we get our most glittering prize, Moscow. At this point, Russia had lost 6 million men in all of the fighting. I can't really say how many of those were mine, as this save game is quite old, as you can imagine, well, by not using the new supply system, but I think I easily contributed at, like 2 or 1 million of those casualties. 3 slash 4 years of fighting in the east, after the fall of the last major Russian stronghold, they were swiftly def defeated. Now it was time to divide the spoils of war. Of course, everyone of the Eastern client states got stuff, but I got the most land as I did most of the job. Meanwhile, Germany just installed a loyal Russian puppet state. And with the expansion of land, we can finally integrate the last Latvian province that once was under the control of the Russians. And this was the story of how the Baltic state defeated the Russian bear. But this does not end here. 
there is still more to this campaign, but for now, I think we can call it a day. And this was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said before, this was recorded way back before No Step Back. And I also have decided to start uploading the whole campaign time lapse in the declassified channel if anyone is interested to see the whole thing with minimal editing. If you would like to see this type of content in the future, remember to subscribe as this helps out the channel. This was Effectus, you are dismissed, soldier.